Hi, I'm Clint Hastings. I'm an attorney here in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and I focus on father's rights. This is the second video in a series of videos about subpoenas and how they work and how they may be used in your case, uh, just for general awareness of how they work. Uh, the first thing you should know about a subpoena is you cannot issue one by yourself. Uh, an attorney, one of the advantages of uh, having an attorney is to issue subpoenas without court orders. Um, if you're trying to do it by yourself, let's say you would have to get a judge to issue a subpoena for you to, let, let's say you want um, to subpoena documents from a business. You have to do a motion to the court uh, asking for that and the court will issue a subpoena and then you have to have it served and execute it on that business. But uh, an attorney has the power granted to him by the court and the state uh, to issue his own subpoena. So I could write a subpoena to get those business records and just sign up myself. Um, we'll talk about service next, but generally uh, all subpoenas are either going to come from a court or the attorney. However, uh, in some counties, the clerk can issue the subpoena uh, by request. If you, go, if you go in there, they can uh, issue it in some circumstances, but in general, you'll want an attorney or the court to do it. All right, next video, we'll dive into it a little deeper. Thanks.